Good morning, Lancashire Gossip Gals. How are we this morning? I hope you're all well. Um, so a lot of us have um, had the kids go to school now, so I hope everybody's feeling good. <laughs> um, so I'm here with Delith Parsons from Plenary, um, and um, Delith runs a coaching consultancy in Chorley. Um, I'm going to go through the business of the week. So I'm really excited because I don't know too much about you. So I'm going to be asking these questions and I'm going to be like, oh, yes. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I really want to know all about it. So it'd be good. Um, so, ladies, when you come on, just say hi and let me know that you're watching. Um, and um, if you are watching on replay, you still absolutely count. Um, just give us a hashtag replay and let us know that you've seen it. And if you have any questions throughout um, the live, just pop it in the comments. Or if you've got questions afterwards, uh, Delith will come in and um, answer your questions as well. I'm sure she'd be happy to do that. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. So let's uh, delve in. Um, so, Delith, how did you get into your business? Do you want to tell us a bit about what you do and yeah. um, and how you got into it, actually? Yeah, no problem. My name's Delith, obviously, as, as you said, but some people call me Del, so it's fine um, if you want to refer to me as Del, that's cool. Um, so about four and a half years ago, I set up my own business after um, a really good career, really, working at various marketing agencies in the Northwest and working with some really fabulous clients like L'Oreal, Compare the Market, um, Scottish Power, Sainsbury's. So there was lots of well-known clients, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're brilliant and, and you know, I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to work with clients like that, which was amazing. Um, but I've had I've got a little boy who's gone back to school today, so he's eleven. Oh, now. lovely! So, so at the time he was about two and a half, and I was spending maybe three, four days a week in London, traveling up and down from Preston, and I was on yeah. my own. And actually, that's kind of really hard work trying to juggle child care and getting my mum and dad to look after him and stuff so I thought that the solution to my problem was to get a job in the northwest so I went to work for Manchester Growth Company and there I headed up their, their sales and marketing function and that was the kind of eye-opener that I had really in terms of the support that some of the smaller businesses really really needed and I felt that the support that they were getting through the growth hub back in Manchester was very much around the strategy and the planning rather than the implementation and what specific actions they needed to take to move their business forward yeah. and you know, I got married again and, and settled down my little boy was growing up and my husband said to me listen I want you to stop moaning about being able to do a better job than, than all of these other people just go and, and sleep on your own and that's what I did and that was four and a half years ago so I coach businesses now to help them attract dream clients into their business I help them market their business using free techniques. So rather than spending a shed load of money on SEO, paid ads, sponsored, mm. boosting posts on Facebook, I've grown my business to six figures using those free techniques. So I work Fantastic. with coaches, consultants, and creatives to help them do exactly the same while balancing the time that they have with their family and the ability to earn and create more kind of revenue in their business, really. Oh, great. Um, so what do you find you do on a day to day basis then? Hmm. Um, in terms of the work that I do with clients, so I, mm -hmm. I meet with clients on a, a, a relatively frequent basis. And obviously, because of COVID, that's been online through Zoom in most instances. Yeah. I run a group coaching program, and I also work with clients one-to-one -one as well. So um, lots of that activity is about giving them 
the actions that they need to take in the next month or in the next couple of weeks before I see them again and holding them accountable to, yeah. to doing that really you know, and giving them all of the support and all the hand-holding that they need that yeah that you mentioned actions definitely the actions that they actually need to take not just Absolutely. planning stuff and talking about it you know this is what you do yeah. go and do it <laughs> Absolutely, and like you know there's instances where you know perhaps somebody's had an inquiry into their business and we've worked really hard to generate those inquiries and given them the techniques to do it but I'll also hand pull them through the conversation. Quite often, I'll get WhatsApps or screenshots of a conversation that my client is having yeah. with their prospects, and I'll help them through that process as well. So there's a yeah. lot of support and a lot of hand holding through it because once you know the things that you need to do and the process that sits behind it, it all kind of comes together. Yeah. Really nice. Fantastic. So what? variety of products or services do you provide so um it, it's a service obviously rather than mm -hmm. a product as such so um there is a face-to-face -face mastermind a 12-month mastermind where people work with me in that way and that will hopefully go back again in the next few weeks to running face-to-face -face, because that's quite nice and then I am about to launch an online program as well. So um, that's going live next week and that will all be managed online um, rather than face-to-face -face delivery. So it helps more people. More people have access, yeah. to it, I guess, which is a good thing. From yeah, there. so tell me more about, you know, how, how that's going to play out and how people can uh, get um, involved with that. So the six-week program will be... Um, managed through zoom so there'll be a, a live mastermind with me every single week for six weeks so there's lucky people that have signed up already we'll get that opportunity and then we will have a closed facebook group where there will be templates playbooks in there and the tools that they need to, to move things forward from a marketing point of view from a sales point of view from a planning point of view Right. Um, and then there will be live Q&As in the Facebook group and as much support as people need during that six weeks from me. And if they sign up now, because the program's going live on Monday, then they'll get lifetime access to the program and it's coming. So it sounds quite um, tailored to the people that are in its needs yeah. rather than this is the set structure, this is what you will learn Absolutely. it's it's more uh, uh, person centric is that right that's correct and because the people i work with are experts in their area and they tend to exchange their expertise their skills for money so in a service based environment like coaches do yeah and yeah and yeah those processes work Works mm. for me. It works for my clients now. And like you said, you know, you get what you put in, obviously, don't you? So, yeah. you know, running in and signing up for a six-week program isn't magically going to grow your business. You have to implement the things that you've learnt. So there will be some level of accountability in the group, support from me in order to be able to ask the questions about what do I do next, those kind of things. Mm. So, yeah, you get what you put in, essentially. Yeah, great stuff. Um, so what do you enjoy about the work that you do? Oh, gosh. I've always been a people person, right? So, like, enjoy chatting to people and, and seeing what they do. But the thing that absolutely makes my heart sing with joy is when people start seeing those inquiries coming in, you know, and start seeing some real reward for the amount of effort that they're putting in up front mm -hmm. because so many people that work so blooming hard and it feels like just really hard work because they're either doing the wrong type of work working with clients that do their heads in or they're just not earning what they're capable of earning you know yeah so when you start seeing that and the confidence come you know and people kind of stop playing that smaller game I'm really stepping it up. And I know there's loads of stuff out there about, you know, step out of your comfort zone and do this. And that's where growth lies. But it's so, so true. And seeing that reward for people and the things that they can then do off the back of that is the yeah. thing. Yeah, it's amazing. Like you say, 
I put a post out this morning um, on our Gossip Girls networking page about um, laying the foundations like a skyscraper. Yeah. Um, it's it's skyscraper day, you know those silly awareness days and stuff like that. Yeah. It's basically skyscraper day, so I thought, oh, I'll do something skyscraperish. But I just got thinking, and you know, the skyscrapers go down, 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 down with the foundations, mm -hmm. and like you say, it takes so long for yeah. to to put the groundwork in, and then you see the skyscraper shoot up, and but if people like you say, if they don't have like the action steps to take. And they're not doing the right things to lay the foundations. Yeah, then it won't shoot up as a skyscraper, will it? Absolutely. So, and you need a decent foundation, but I don't hang out a huge amount in that kind of strategy bit. You know, where do you want your business to be in three or five years? Actually, what are we going to achieve this month? You know, and next quarter. Let's because get it done. Yeah. yeah let's <laughs> done because otherwise you can pontificate over a strategy and plans mm. and actually if you're not doing the stuff that goes with it help you move it forward I it's think this happens quite a lot when people think they have something swimming around in their head um and they can't fully write it down because they don't have the steps to do it yeah. and they can't kind of verbalize it because it's not been written down and there's nothing you know to go forward yeah. um and, and then procrastination happens and so, so procrastination is like one of the topics that we'll cover off and i think it's in week two because right. that's a productivity thing so it's either that you know you don't get round to doing it because it's a bit difficult and you don't know how to do it or you might just be up to your eyeballs in work looking after the kids running mm. around after family and you just can't find the time to do it so unless mm. There's some things that we can do to carve out that time to help people along the way in terms of having the, the space in their diary and the headspace up here. Yeah, the like headspace as well, yeah, to think straight and do it. And and when you've got like that mastermind system set up like you have, it's you can kind of see straight with the help of the people yeah. in the mastermind. So yeah, that's so good. You know, um, overwhelm is one of the things that happens, and I see a lot from the clients that I work with, it's kind of like, it stops them moving forward because they're just clouded and don't yeah. see the trees essentially, yes. Yeah. So. yeah, and like you say, these people are very good at what they do, their job, but then yeah. marketing, when you have your own business, marketing yeah. is like the right hand man of your business, you know what I mean, so yeah. yeah. And like, you know, there's all the stuff that comes with that, isn't there, about, you know, being more visible. Well, what do I need to do? Because I could spend time on Facebook and on LinkedIn and on Instagram. And then there's, oh, my God, there's too much of it. Yeah. So, you know, it's handling and navigating those things that. It, I bet you find it really interesting because you'll have so many different people that you deal with. And from your breadth of experience, obviously, that will come in handy with different people, yeah. won't it? But yeah. I bet you find it really interesting. The problems and the challenges tend to be the same, though. Right, yeah. Yeah, it, they just manifest themselves in a different way. In different people. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you were um, going to give advice when somebody's looking for services like yours, mm -hmm. um, what would you say for them to look for in a personal business? I guess look for somebody that you get on with is the first thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because if you're going to work really closely with somebody to grow your business and to, to some extent share some vulnerabilities, you know, as to why it's not performing at the level that you want it to be, what's holding you back, those kind of things, you need to get on on a personal level. So that's the first thing. Yeah. The second thing is to choose somebody that has some experience in your sector. So, you mm -hmm. know, I don't tend to work with product-based businesses because that's not my thing. I work with people that exchange their time for money. So that's the second thing. And also, look at the results that they've got for their clients. You know, my LinkedIn profile, for example, is full of testimonials of clients that have seen some result off the back of working with me. So they kind of need to put the money where the mouth is to some extent that yeah. people 
been there, done the thing that you're looking for them to help you with, I think would be the things that I'd say. Yeah. So on LinkedIn, um, is it just your name that people can yeah. search for as well? Yeah. So you can search for Delis Parsons. So I tend to use my full name for things like that rather than yeah. Del. Um, I'm on Facebook, so you can send me a friend request or um, there's a page on Facebook for the business as well. Um, I'm on Instagram. And yeah, I'm 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 around and about. Yeah. So, how would you like people to contact you? Do you have a website as well, or? So the website address is just www dot this is plenary dot co dot uk. Um, and plenary is spelt P L E N A R Y. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so www dot plenary. Dot, th this is plenary.co.uk. Correct. Fantastic. Oh, I'm going to check it out myself. Yeah. yeah <laughs> yes, fantastic. So, if somebody contacted you, you um, what would be the next step? Usually, it's to hop on a call to have a little bit of a chat. It might take, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes just to kind of see that we're on the same page, I guess. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is good. Um, but they can drop me a message on, on Messenger. We can have a little chat on there. Um, so, yeah, that, that would be the first step, really. Because yeah, because like you say, you need to connect with that person absolutely. on, like, a personal level. Yeah, totally. Because, you know, like I said to you before, you need to get on with the people that you work with because it's so, so important that yeah. there needs to be that kind of vibe and I guess you know I, I tend to attract the people that want to work with me because of the the vibe yeah. that I have out there I guess so yeah. so um can I just ask a little bit more about um the six-week mastermind um okay. I've come to the end of my questions but um that's starting soon isn't it so indeed so it's starting next week and it will run for six weeks right. um and there is a time limited offer on it. So, for us the bargain price of ninety nine pounds, right? <laughs> have access to that six week program. But if they sign up before tomorrow at five pm, they'll get lifetime access to that. So, when we run the program again, when we add new content to it, they'll have unlimited access to that, which is great. So, the usual price is four nine nine. So, it's a massive, massive saving. That is so cool that you're doing that. Ace, and it will just allow so much more access yeah. to the skills, experience, and support that I know really, really helps people grow their business and, and generate more revenue so they can go on that night nice holiday. They can buy that next new car that they want. They can buy the kids the big Christmas presents that they want. You know, yeah. So, so for £99, it's six weeks yeah. um, with a weekly um, mastermind on Zoom, yeah. um, lives within the group for questions and answers. Yeah. yeah, and as much support as you need. So, okay. you know, the, it's your opportunity to ask and take that advice in that specific Facebook group. So whenever that anybody's got any questions, pop it in the group and then... I'll help them manage that through. So yeah, it's oh, gonna be epic. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, we need to get the word out. We yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> that is so good. So if anybody has any questions about this at all, just pop it in the comments. Um, I think Devlith has really explained it well. But if you want to, would you um, have a chat with people as well? Yeah. So if it's okay with you, um, I've got like a Google Doc that explains the ins and outs of, of what's oh, involved yeah. this week. So if it's okay with you, Emma, I will yeah. put the, the link to that document. Um, yeah, put it in the comments. Yeah, that's then, great. You know, just drop me a message on, on Facebook and, and we can arrange to have a chat and see whether it's right for people. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for people that can grab that now. Thank you for coming on and letting us not all know about it. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed talking to you. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I'll see you again soon then. Um. So yes. Um. Like we say, if anybody's got any questions, just let Delith know. Um. I'm feeling quite pumped up about this. So because I know it's going to help a lot of people. Um. So yes. 
Thank you for being the business of the week. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, chat to you later then. Bye. Bye-bye.